what's happening guys? Let's let's install scikit learn, which is our machine library, a machine learning library. So you know what? Actually, uh, the regular route is to install Python and then install scikit learn as a as a library. But the problem with that route is that you know to install scikit uh, scikit learn, you need to install several other dependencies which is sometimes going to cause masses of disaster when when those dependencies don't get installed which is what happened to me so i figured a way out and uh, let me tell you this is the best way to save some time because you don't want to go and install each library and dependency because it's going to just kill your time like anything by throwing a lot of errors so i found out this route what is called as miniconda this is like everything this contains python 3.6 and 2.7 as well so since we want the latest version let me just download a uh, mini conda let me show you its power real quick um and by the way i just uninstalled my initial version of python uh so i'd installed from python.org right the setup file i i, I uninstalled it and uh, you don't need to have that so i'm going to use this downloaded version and I'm going to download this into my desktop, but I've already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do anything now. Let's go and start uh, installing it. So here it is on my desktop, and agree, just me, Rakshit Miniconda. Add this path, very important. Add path to my environment variable, and then you say you should say register Anaconda as my default Python, which is pretty cool, and then say next. So just wait for some time and <clears throat> meanwhile, while it's installing, let me show you one pretty cool thing if you are absolutely new to this. And I was just amazed by this environment concept because you know, I had seen Ruby environments but um, this conda is really good. Let me talk about that in a moment. Okay, so it's installed. I don't want to learn more about Anaconda at this point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create what is known as, a, as an environment. Let's go to Anaconda prompt. And let's just wait for it to show up. For, for the first time, it's going to take a little bit time to show up in the command prompt. So there we go. And if I just say Python, it's already installed. Okay, and then I'm going to say exit at this point and I want to install scikit-learn, right? Before I install, you know what? Let me let me create a new environment. Uh, what is an environment? Basically, an environment is a place where you can keep multiple Python installations and, you know, some projects require some libraries and not all the projects require all the libraries and you can you know, distinguish between one project and one and another project by creating what is known as a library, uh, uh, sorry, as an environment. You, you know, it's kind of similar to, um, you know, bookshelves. You know, one topic book is going to go under one particular bookshelf, right? So I think, you know, it's kind of like that. Anyway, just uh, if you, if you, if you don't, I mean, it's not so important to create an environment, but let me just show you one because it's going to keep our project organized. Conda create and then give it a name. My name is machine learning. And then I'm going to require SCIKIT hyphen LEARN, scikit learn. And if I just, just do this, it's going to create that environment for me. So it's, a, it's going to ask, oh, you want all of this? Yes, I'm going to say I need all of this. You see, do you notice how elegantly it handled all the other dependency? I just wanted scikit-learn, but scikit-learn requires Python, pip, Nufi, and all these new dependencies that I'm not aware of. I mean, they're not new, but it's new for me. So anyway, so that is something that's awesome. I, it's, I just love this uh, mini Honda because it, it's just doing all the job for me. And once I'm done, I'll be done. All right, now you see to activate this environment, it says activate machine learning. Now if you are on Linux or 
or, or on Mac, you should say source activate. But if you are on Windows, you should say just activate. So I'm going to say activate. All right, now if we do this, it just got us into machine learning path. Now from now on, if I just say Python, okay, and if I say machine import sklearn, you know, this is where I can see if it's properly installed. It didn't throw us any, com you know, it didn't throw us any error. That means we have installed scikit-learn. That's pretty cool. Killer command prompt. This is not my, you know, Anaconda command prompt. So you know what I'm going to do? I am, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, first of all, I have this uh, hello.py file that is using sklearn. You know, it's just having just three lines of code coming from the sklearn documentation itself. Now I'm just going to go to my desktop first, which is where my hello.python is. And if I now, if I say Python, P-Y-T-H-O-N, hello, dot P-Y, you know, it says sklearn is not found. The reason it's not found is because we have to navigate into our environment. So we have to say activate and then say our environment, which was machine learning, remember? If I do this, now we are into, you know, machine learning environment. And if I just again do hello.py, you see, we got this data set. So that is something cool that you should always know if you want to make use of uh, environment. So that's it. So simple, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share.